When we go on an engagement session, uh, it's such it's such a, a great time to get to know each other and to create more intimacy with, with the, the client and, and the couple and see how they interact with each other and how they interact with us. Give her a kiss on the cheek, Jared. Oh, that's so nice. Now kiss her neck. Get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Throughout the session, I'll, I'll give little instructions like that. You know, tilt your head into to him, touch his touch his face. I want to see, I want to see some, uh, I want to see emotion here, folks. By doing that, they will automatically know to do that at the on the wedding day. So there's less prompting, and it, it just becomes even more natural. <laughs> The more, the more of that we get, the more fun we're going to have. And it shows in the pho photographs. Pick her up. Yep. Kick, kick your leg out. There you go. Look at each other. Oh, that's great. <laughs> A lot of times I'll hear my clients say, you were so easy to work with. You know, you're so laid back. And, and uh, that's just my style. That's, that's really what I like. Okay, make her laugh. <laughs> great job, guys. Cool. I like that. He actually was the photographer of my sister's wedding. Um, my sister Andrea got married in September. We're getting married in February. He's also the photographer for my other sister who's getting married in June. Hold that pose. Great. Okay, come on down. To be candid, you have to be comfortable with the person shooting the photos and like I said, from the very beginning, Preston has always made us feel comfortable. And mm -hmm. looking back at David and Andy's wedding, and people that had only met Preston for, you know, a very limited amount of time, are, they're able to open up, they're comfortable with him, and, you know, Preston could tell the group to do anything. The candid photos came easy, and, and I think Preston's personality had a lot to do with that. A little closer to her. Actually, real close. There we go. Oh, yeah, I like that. Awesome. Great job, guys. In addition to that, sometimes we'll, uh, we'll add a bridal. The client may wish to add a bridal session. Uh, this is basically the, the bride gets to be the, the diva for the day. Um, really tilt your head back and just kind of look down your arm or down your dress. There you go. It's a great time to do their hair and makeup run through. Also, um, when they when they wear their dress, we're moving them around. We're laying them down on the floor, clean on a on a clean floor. <laughs> Gorgeous. My cousin just got married last May, and she didn't get a bridal shoot. Uh, one of my other sisters got married a couple years ago. They didn't do a bridal shoot, so this is something I hadn't even heard of. And uh, actually, a lot of my friends who had been married before wish that they would have found a photographer that actually got to sit down and take a, just, just the bride. It's just a by-yourself day, not a lot going on. It's not on the big day, so you're not real nervous. Close your eyes. A lot of our brides love the fact that they've had a chance to really put their dresses through the pace because they, they get a feel for how it feels on them. We'll wait for that wind to kick up again. Here we go. You can laugh too, because we're having fun, right? <laughs> Again, the, the goal for that is, is really a, a glamour type feel. That's our time that we can make the bride feel just absolutely beautiful. Good. That's great. It was actually kind of exciting getting to take all the different photos, and, and it kind of makes you feel like a little bit of a model. You know, you're taking all the photos. It was actually really cool to get a, your picture taken before the big day because then you know how your hair is going to look and your dress and you know if you need to change anything and you can get kind of comfortable in, in your outfit before you, you actually start to walk down the aisle for the full day. So, Of course, then we have the wedding. Uh, the wedding is uh, the biggest part of, of the whole photo shoot. We 
we prefer to do what's called the first look. Uh, it's a great time for the bride and groom to see each other before the ceremony starts. It can be a, a really, it can be a really tough expectation to, to let go of, but uh, once, uh, once our bride and grooms agree to do this, uh, they never look back. They can, they can literally talk to each other, they can, they can hug, they can embrace. And I've seen so many tears, uh, so many tears of joy from those situations. And of course that tra translates into incredible photography. It allows us to budget in the time to get the photographs that they want guys look great together. Now him on the other hand, he's going to need a few minutes. Then we move on to typically the, uh, the wedding party. You know, we like to have fun with the wedding party. If we can move around in the, in the, the venue, that's really important. A variety. We love to give, give the clients variety. Now I want you to spontaneously laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's good, huh? Okay. Yeah, you guys just look straight on. Jared, I want you looking right at me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Jared, in taking this woman you hold by the hand to be your lawful and wedded wife, do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and keep her in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, you will keep faithfully unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. Amy, in taking this man you hold by the right hand to be your lawful and wedded husband, do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and keep him in sickness and health? And forsaking all others, you will keep faithfully unto him so long as you both shall live. I, as a minister of the gospel, pronounce that you are husband and wife. Jared, you may kiss your bride. I'm pleased to pronounce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Jared Pyatt. actually there from the beginning to the end so you really get to um, I guess tell a story on, on your entire wedding day and I just don't see many photographers going to that length to get all the photos that you might need. What we're doing is we're creating and preserving a memory that can be looked at forever. Uh, and I feel so strongly about that. elegantly tell the story of, of our couple's day. That is by far one of the most important things about what we do. These are things that need to be remembered. And again, that's, that's our goal, is to tell a story.